Hello and welcome to another devlog for my indie game Scorp, my Metroidvania focused on combat and story. In this video I'll be showing you the new spellcasting system which will play a big part in the game's progression. So let's get into it. So I started by getting the base UI down for the spell book. I decided here you'd select three spells you want to be able to use on demand with the press of a button. All you have to do is drag them into the correct slot. There's also a sidebar which informs you on what the spell does. And you may have also noticed that spells are tiered and on different levels and this is how it really starts to relate to progression because you'll unlock different levels after doing certain things in the story and each level has spells focused on different things such as effects for level 1 and death for level 3. So in total, I managed to make 7 spells, so here's a quick rundown of what they all do. Stunning stops nearby enemies moving. Summoning spawns a ghost-like pet which fights for the player. Healing heals the player for a few seconds. Soul grab uses spirit to stop the player dying and Soul Burst uses Spirit to create a large explosion which damages enemies. Draining drains the lives of nearby enemies until they're almost dead. And death Weaving, similar to the Dark Weaver, allows players to enter the death realm where they are immune to damage. So please write any other suggestions of spells you have in the comments down below. And while you're there, why not subscribe and like the video, because it really helps. For certain spells, I wanted you to actually have something to be able to cast them instead of it just being on a cooldown. And so all the spells in Tier 2 also require Spirit to cast, which are part of a new system centred around healing. Because basically, you get a Spirit from killing creatures, which you can then use to either heal up or instead to cast those new spells. As well as spellcasting for the player to add spells onto enemies, I've also added a full effect system for the player. Some of these spells are good ones that the player can cast themselves, and some are bad ones which are casted by enemies. So I made it so that all the spells the player can cast the necromancer can also cast, mostly for lore reasons. And then the final thing I did recently was add my cat from real life into the game. He's called Bangsa and basically just follows you around sitting down when he gets to you. And my favourite thing is definitely when he's been sitting down for a while and curls up and starts cleaning himself. But that's it for this devlog. It was originally going to include abilities and a better progression system. But that got too big so it will be in the next devlog instead. But for now subscribe and goodbye.